In today's video, I'll be reviewing the barbecue grill with cover, which is heavy duty and detachable. This came from Pangasinan, North Luzon, and the variant right here is 30 by 40. It's available on Shopee. The link for this is in the description down below. There's also a 40 by 40 variant. So here in this video, we will have the unboxing experience. So actually, this was purchased on November 4. It came November 11, so good shipping, no problems with any broken pieces or anything. Later in the video, we will have a build quality test as well as a sound test. We will also be cooking on this grill three different dishes. So that's chicken in a sal, pork barbecue, as well as fish, grilled fish, so pampano. So make sure to stay until the end of the video. Before that, welcome to EJ Bits. So here in EJ Bits, we have this thing called the sound test. I'll be tapping my hand on this grill. So this is for you to determine the quality of the grill. So according to them, this is pure stainless steel and we will be using the charcoal briquette which is made from coconut shells. So this is a quick close-up of the entire Ihawan body. This is fully welded. Take a look at the welding job. It's really good. Good welding and you know, as you heard, it sounds sturdy. This is 1.2. That's the thickness of the hierro used. And as you can see, this is our grilling grate. We also have here some storage space for your condiments or something else. Take a look at the welding and take a look at how things are attached. That's how it's built. You know, it comes in a big box, you know, wrapped in, you know, bubble wrap. So that's really good. It also comes with rubber feet. This is how the back of the device looks like, as you can see. Nice welding. We are now ready to start the flame. So again, this is made from coconut shells. The briquettes are supposedly going to last for four hours. And that's enough time for us to cook many, many different dishes. So of course, here we have, you know, this is a total of uh, one kilo of charcoal coconut briquettes. And really good. We just have to watch this quick time-lapse footage of this, you know, starting. So according to the seller, you can see the black paint right here. It's heat-proof paint, so that's going to be 1,200 Fahrenheit. That's going to be, you know, uh, the temperature resistance of this paint. And of course, we will have all of that sorted out in the entire video. Here we have our chicken in a sal. So this was, of course, marinated in soy sauce, calamansi, suka, garlic, onion, pepper, salt, and chicken oil. And, you know, our basting liquid, you saw the brush a while ago, that's going to be banana ketchup as well as chicken oil. So, oil and ketchup don't really mix. But, you know, you can just, you know, quickly stir it around and brush it on top of your chicken. So, of course, chicken cooks for a very long time, especially in this scenario, which is why, you know, it's really nice that this grill has a cover. So you can cover it, it speeds up the cooking process, and we are waiting for an internal temperature of 75 degrees Celsius. Again, if things go up in flames, usually the Filipino thing to do is to, uh, you know, add some water to put out the flame. But for me, right here, we are just flipping the chicken to prevent any burns. So... That's totally fine. But as you can see here, we have white smoke and that's really good. So that's going to bring the smokiness to the chicken. And now we are ready to put off the flame. I'll be covering this for a few seconds, only five seconds. After, after that, as you can see, white smoke, no more flame. So that's 
totally good so that's going to be effective in putting out the flame so you, you don't have any worry of you know things catching on fire when you cover right so again we are ready to cover and speed up the cooking process take a look at this little chimney style hole we have for the smoke to come out really nice looking smoke and the chicken is slowly cooking from the outside in so this chicken was actually marinated for two days and that's also true for our pork barbecue later this is a filipino style feast we have here and we can see that you know the chicken looks really nice it's cooking slowly cooking slowly but surely so as you can see from this entire grill setup right the brand new grill is used and if you take a look at the grate the grilling grate so it's a little bit bent that's a user error i used it as you know a charcoal lighting grate so that's my error and that caused it to you know deform a little bit but it doesn't affect the performance we are now ready for our pork barbecue as you saw the chicken is still not cooked so we need a bit more time cooking the chicken until it reaches again 75 degrees celsius our pork barbecue will also be basted in the same basting liquids ketchup and chicken oil it would be better if you are able to blend the, this mixture up you know blend it using an immersion blender that's totally possible and as you can see the grilling process is really really nice so i would say that the entire grill this setup right here the 30 by 40 variant is good for you know six six to eight to ten people so you can grill this much food at once and as you can see we are refilling our second batch of pork barbecue i'll show you the entire final product right so here we have pampano and we will cook this until we have nice crispy skin which we weren't unfortunately able to do with the first fish but the second fish we are able to have you know, the skin remain intact and not stick to the cooking grates but that's totally fine the fish is still very nice it's stuffed with you know garlic onion as well as tomato inside so here we have a demonstration just add some water to the flame and it will put out the flame in your grill so this is our feast filipino feast we have pork barbecue we have spaghetti the chicken in a sal as well as our fish you will purchase this ihawan in eurofab metals trading their shopee store is linked down below they sell many different stainless steel works as well as you know many different ihawan styles for all of you for your specific needs so overall i rate this ihawan a 9 out of 10 the build quality is great the cooking experience was also great the cleaning process a bit difficult but that's totally fine that's what you expect with these types of grills and overall i thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell 